absolutely stunning. Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Although you can clearly tell I'm in my yurt, in this video, we're gonna head back to Sweden where we went for my dad's 70th birthday. And although I already posted an extensive video on that entire trip, I did wanna go back to the whole reason my father wanted to go to Sweden, which was the Vasa Museum. So in this video, we're gonna revisit that amazing museum dedicated to a ship uh, that set sail in 1628 and sank in the harbor of Stockholm and was perfectly preserved until the 1960s when it was brought up restored and placed in a new museum. It's absolutely amazing. Enjoy. Here we go. <laughs> Look at that. All right, to the museum. Oh, yeah, that's what they're doing, huh? Wow. <laughs> so, we looked online and it said the museum opened at 8.30 and we literally have the entire thing to ourselves. This is amazing. So this ship sank on its main voyage in the mid 1600s and then was buried in the silt here in Stockholm Harbor until the 1960s when they had to dig it up or they didn't have to, when they dug it out of the water and then they sprayed it with glycol for 30 years so that when it dried out, it didn't split. Very, very cool. It's like 90% original. This is absolutely fascinating. Figurehead here. Imagine climbing out all the way to the end of that thing. Are these all gun ports? Yeah, those are all cannon ports, huh? Those are all cannon ports? Yeah. It is so cool to see stuff I've only seen in like history books in person. I mean, look at the level of detail. You've got the lion's heads on the doors. 200 men on a boat this size. Orlob deck is in there. Look at the level of detail on these carvings. Look at this rudder. Like, oh my God. right? That's gonna look so cool from those upper decks. 12 years of research. This shows what the stuff probably looked like painted. Pretty incredible. Okay, so this is the Vasa coat of arms here. Look how gorgeous this must have been. All painted. It's so incredible. What a tub going through the water. Yeah. We we're just saying we're amazed by the craftsmanship here. This is an example of a poorly built one because it sank on its maiden voyage. It was so top heavy. That just wasn't seaworthy. But if this was a poorly built example, I can't imagine like what the British were building. Holy moly. It's a diving bell or similar that was used to pick up the cannons in the 1660s. Stay at the wreck for half an hour. 120 tons of ballast. See there. In the video we watched it said this was the first time the Swedish had tried to build a gunship with two decks of guns, so she was top heavy and narrow. Sank August 10th, 1628. So there's a display here that talks about them having to drive tunnels under the hull to Razor. 
It's a pretty cool display. 100 kilos. This is the kind of suit I learned. You learned how to dive in this type of suit? Mark 5, yeah. Wow. Mark 5 is the name of that, okay. I went to the water, I weighed 495 pounds. It's hard to climb back up the ladder. I can imagine. Nine inch wires were used for raising the boat. Started in 1957. Yeah. Two years just to get the tunnels in. Holy moly. What day did they lift the last one? Yeah, that's true. August 20th. <laughs> on my birthday. On your birthday. In 1959, I was five years old. <laughs> Look at that. You got here. Okay, so this is the old town, right? And so we're staying here. This is that island we walked around, and this is where we are now, and then that's where they found it. So we went over it in the boat tour we did yesterday. It's a replica of what they think it looked like. Look at this thing. This is gonna be boring to 98% of the people out there, but just the construction of this is amazing. The 1600s, all done by hand. This whole area is about the research into the Vasa that they've done through science. So untreated. The wood would look like that, using old methods. It would look like that, and then the method they used to get this. Touch a piece of the vassal wood, part of the gun carriage. Wow. 85% original. I thought they'd spray it for 30 years, but it was 17 years. But you can see here, they just sprayed it with that peg glycol. Macabre, they give you person's name, a little bit of their history, some scientific thought on what their diet was like, and then you turn around. Oh, there's Johan. Sheesh. These reconstructions are incredible in terms of how lifelike they are. Let's think about it. These are the tools they used to build these things, build the ships. The size of these beams be forgiven for thinking that was a bench. I think we'll head upstairs and get a better view of the top of the ship. Okay. Life on board. This would have been the door to the main cabin. Then the way out. And then watch your my head. This is tight. Okay, you can see the lines are upside down on the inside. Can you imagine how bloody loud it must have been in a boat when it was firing? All at one time. <laughs> 200 people lived on this boat, or were supposed to live on this boat, I should say. Look at all the work. 45 sailors, 300 soldiers. Wow. Place the powder pen, uh, charges. Never saw one before. Different types of cannonballs. Yep. Let's see, we got round shot. This one. Spike shot. Seems like that would hurt. Scissor shot. Yeah, I would say that could have that effect. Oh, and the chain shot. There's that guy. It's a recreation of the Vassa Hall. 
showing what a cannonball would do. Yeah, you wouldn't want to be on the other side of that. Absolutely stunning. It's all right. I feel very fortunate we got here when we did. It was just us for like 10 minutes. This place is packed. I mean, there's a couple thousand people in here. Yeah, we were the only ones. <laughs> no, something else. All right, Bassa Museum, I would say, definitely worth a visit. Definitely. Yeah? Yeah, yeah, 100%. 100%. Worth a trip, even. The whole trip, just this, yeah. <laughs> it was great. Yeah. Go, go check it out if you're here. <laughs> yeah, it's great. All right, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed watching that as much as I enjoyed revisiting that time back in Stockholm with my dad. If you do want to see that entire video, you can click here. Otherwise, I'll see you next time.